This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. We've got some important updates to cover today in regards to the largest terrorist attack that has happened in 20 years in Russia that happened on Friday night in Moscow. Guys, if you missed my video from yesterday, who did it? The truth about ISIS and the Moscow terror attack. Here's what you need to know. I will put a link to that in the description. Make sure you check it out if you haven't yet. But there are updates to announce today. These men have already made their appearance in court and they have appeared incredibly beaten and tortured and battered. Uh, as we see here, uh, this is the guy who had his ear chopped off and fed to him by one of the FSB. This guy's face is completely swollen to the size of a softball. This guy's still has a plastic bag wrapped around his neck and he's you know bloodied and black eyed and looking pretty darn disheveled this guy is completely unconscious for his court appearance this is the man who was chased out of the trees had his ear cut off and force fed to him uh, and that uh, footage was put out on purpose there's also images like this coming out of one of the terrorist suspects with his pants pulled down, and as you can see, there is electrical wires attached to his groin, and the wires are attached to an 80-volt battery. Um, so uh, this is pretty intense, what's happening now, and uh, the conveyor belt of torture is going to continue in these prisons that awaits the Moscow uh, Concert Hall terrorists. And I will warn you, this is graphic, ladies and gentlemen. Inmates are stripped beaten and forced to rape one another by brutal guards with their bodies returned to their relatives with no internal organs. Uh, this has now caused the Islamic State to issue this response in this poster claiming that they are going to unleash a bloodbath in response to this. They say ISIS... Uh, we see that ISIS is telling Putin to expect a massacre as Russian soldiers torture terror suspects. ISIS threatens to massacre Putin and Russians and says that the Moscow attack terrorist torture has increased their bloodlust, guys. Uh, meanwhile, you've got Russian media executives uh, going on the air saying it was not ISIS, but it was the West themselves who committed this terror attack. They say the individuals behind this operation were purposefully selected to be passed off as members of ISIS, and Putin has allegedly said ISIS generally only attacks enemies of the United States. This is a strange coincidence. Uh, you've got Zelensky chiming in on this, saying that Ruska, Russia was just too distracted trying to conquer Ukraine uh, to notice that ISIS-K gunmen had slipped into Moscow to carry out this massacre on concert goers. So while the, the, the finger of blame is being pointed all over the place, ladies and gentlemen, today, we're going to take a look at uh, some very uh, questionable things that have been revealed in the days since this, like the fact that many of these doors were completely locked. Uh, there's questions about the police response and the suspects pass visits to this venue. We see here the police completely disappeared and there was a total lack of uh, security. And in fact, the anti-terror cops took over an hour to arrive, guys. So we are going to look at all of this and much, much more in this video. But really quickly, just before we do, guys, I'd ask that you check me out here at pressfortruth.ca slash donate. If you appreciate my efforts to bring you this information here, you can do a one-time donation with PayPal. You can do Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. You can sign up for a monthly reoccurring contribution by clicking there. You can do the same by clicking here. You can send an e-transfer to Dan at Press for Truth, or you can send stuff to my P.O. Box, guys. Links to all of this are located in the uh, top of the description below. Uh, for this. Thank you so much to anybody who does take a moment today to contribute financially to my efforts here at Press for Truth. All right, guys, let's start with this response uh, allegedly coming from the Islamic State, ISIS themselves, who are infuriated that, that, that these Russian soldiers are torturing uh, who they claim to be their Mujahideen. Um, so this is what they have to say. ISIS said, to all wild Russians, stop torturing Islamic State prisoners. Beware. Do not think that we do not have the opportunity to take revenge on you for our captured brothers. 
In Friday's attack, we proved to you that, God willing, the Muhajideen of the Islamic State can punish you for any of your horrors. Without this revenge, a lot of blood will remain from the Islamic Ummah. Torture of captured Muhajideen in your name and publication of their videos increases your bloodlust for thousands of their brothers. This time, let's hit you so hard on the head that future generations, God willing, will remember you and these past pains and wounds will be forgotten. Yes, very heavy, deadly, bloody, stabbing, burning, and devastating blows. Wait, expect a massacre, God willing, very soon, God willing. This is the chilling warning coming from ISIS for the, the images and, and the videos that have come out of these people being tortured. It's all stemming from who men who don't even actually appear to be ISIS themselves. You know, it's just like the uh, Russian media is saying the individuals appear to be passed off purposely of, as being members of ISIS. So, you know, let, let's look at some of the questionable things that have arisen in the, the three days since this attack. Like this, ladies and gentlemen, the fact that during the attack, multiple fire escapes and roof access doors to the city hall could not be opened, Bazaar has reported. According to the channel, emergency doors leading up to the building's roof were held closed by bicycle locks. Witnesses who spoke to Bazaar reportedly said that the venue's automatic fire alarm system either partially or completely failed to activate as well while people were in the concert hall at the time of the attack said that they were forced to break the doors in order to get out of the uh, building's basement you know you've got two of the suspects also allegedly visiting this hall multiple times before the attack according to a uh, telegram channel the shot uh, the channel said that um this guy uh, and two of the Tajikistani citizens who were charged in connection with the attacks on Sunday went to the concert hall at least five times in the two weeks leading up to the shooting. Venue uh, employee Alexander Zurich reportedly spoke to one of them, who sh um, uh, shot uh, refers to as the terrorist ringleader. And they even have a picture of this guy being there on uh, March 8th. Um, you know, uh, probably doing reconnaissance and scoping out the area that they were about to attack. You've also got the fact that the anti-terror cops took over an hour to arrive and there was the all-out disappearance of police and security altogether. Russian military intelligence GRU Colonel Igor Salikov, who claimed that he witnessed atrocities against uh, civilians, questions how the culprits were able to enter the venue in the first place. According to information from Russian sources, police and security services vanished from the venue around 7 p.m. before the masked gunmen stormed the building. Colonel Hamish de Breton uh, Gordon emphasizes the ease with which the gunmen entered the building and notes that usually Russian security is absolutely watertight. He said it just seems too much of a setup for four people to just wander in there and kill 137 people. It's almost too perfect. It doesn't smell right. And indeed it does. It doesn't, folks. Um, Anti-terror cops took over an hour to arrive. <laughs> it's Russia's worst terror attack in 20 years, the deadliest one in Europe to have been claimed by ISIS. Yet, in the immediate aftermath of the attack, it took authorities over an hour to arrive to the venue. Guys, apparently Russia's anti-terror Spetsnaz should have been on site within minutes. Something that didn't happen. Their National Guard base is only two miles away from the venue. But officers apparently took over an hour to arrive. These are serious, serious inconsistencies and questions that need to be answered. Um, firefighters and emergency workers rushed to the scene and they were tasked with going through these ruins to find the victims. Self-proclaimed Russian diplomat in exile Boris Bondarov posted on X that Moscow shootings make me think of, of two things here. Absolute absence of safety for ordinary people despite the ever-growing enforcement apparatus. And second, it smells like a false flag operation. And as more and more evidence continues to come out, 
more of uh, of these guys again do look like a, a a bunch of pawns who were used to be passed off as a, apparent true Mahajideen, uh Islamic terrorists when when that doesn't seem to be the case. But the bottom line now you have this this uh, CIA asset, this this Western intelligence asset that is the ISIS boogeyman. Revering, uh, you know, revealing themselves a after almost a decade of, of uh, you know, just, you know, not non-existence, not doing anything. Now, all of a sudden, rearing their face as, as you know, something that uh, Russia has to uh, be in fear of. Guys, it's just like I suggested in my uh, video yesterday. Again, if you haven't seen it, I strongly encourage you to check it out. But... I showed why the finger of blame should be pointed at NATO and their allies who are using ISIS as the scapegoats for a potential war with Russia. And that's what this is all stemming down to. They are once again, you know, uh, going through questionable things like, you know, the, the Putin regime has been known to do before. And now using the age old, you know, the decades old boogeyman of ISIS uh, to, to, uh, to claim that there is a new uh, threat. And, and indeed, things may in fact happen. Um, they are opening up the borders. They're opening up the floodgates. They, they, they want order out of chaos. That's what this is all truly about, ladies and gentlemen. And let's not be mistaken. ISIS is a creation of the West. Uh, by, uh, they, they are, you know, uh, funded, armed, and trained by the likes of the CIA and even the Mossad to carry out these particular atrocities uh, so that the, 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 the world can point at them and say, we need to go in here, we need to, to stop this. And uh, that's what's going on. We're dealing with a larger grand, a, a larger scale war uh, of NATO encroaching upon Russia, and ISIS is being used as the scapegoat to allow this to happen, ladies and gentlemen. So I just wanted to bring all of this highly questionable stuff that's coming out here. Uh, you know, apparently Putin's saying, you know, hey, why do you think that ISIS only generally attacks enemies of the United States? Strange coincidence, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, guys, if you didn't see my video uh, from yesterday, who did it? The truth about ISIS and the Moscow terror attack, what you need to know, make sure you give that a watch. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check me out here at pressfortruth.ca slash donate. If you appreciate my efforts to continuously update you with this uh, information, that's all for today, guys. Just want to keep you up to date with uh, what's going on in this crazy world in these crazy times. Once again, if you do appreciate my efforts to do that, uh, please click that thumbs up button, share this video with your friends and family who you think need to see it the most, and stay tuned, my friends. We're going to have more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. Truth will set you free. free, free.